You'll find, by the way, another manifestation is pre-clears will shift identities and borrow facsimiles like mad. There's what they call the Christ game. And that game has been played and played and played and played. Honest to Pete, these cards are just so thin. They've been laid down amongst the coffee cups and so forth of a whole universe. You'll find out thousands of years before the year 1 A.D. Earth, you will have facsimiles and dolls made up like Christ. Fact 1, a million years ago, is occasionally rigged with Christ and the devil and an angel. It's a fascinating thing. It's an old game. Here on earth there was undoubtedly a Christ, one of the reasons he was he swept in so suddenly, uh, and, and he would go forward so hard as he had a good assist back of him in terms of an implant. shown to have been crucified, so don't think that it's an accident that this crucifixion they found out that this applied. Somebody somewhere on this planet, back about 600 B.C., found some pieces of R6, and I don't know how they found it, either by watching Mad Men or something, but since that time they have used it, and it became what is known as Christianity. Uh, the man on the cross, there was no Christ. But the man on the cross is shown as every man, so of course each person's, person seeing a crucified man has an immediate feeling of sympathy for this man. Therefore you get many PCs who says they are Christ. Now there's two reasons for that. One is the Roman Empire was prone to crucify people. So a person can have been crucified. But in R6, he is shown as crucified. Uh, the uh, entirety of Roman Catholicism, uh, the devil, uh, all of this sort of thing, that is all part of our sex. Uh, but uh, it believes only one thing. I am fixed in space by an exterior determinism. Now remember that. That's real important in the subject of exteriorization. This Satan is surrounded entirely by this complete belief that something else is fixing everything else in space, although we can't find any source of this, so we invent God. Now, the messed universe is all very well, but it's all illusion. One doesn't want an illusion, so he can't have an illusion. And when he was very young, why, Christ was all right. He was very friendly, as a matter of fact, he, and so on. But that's mostly people, you know, they, they have to believe in that sort of thing. And they did once, but it requires nothing but faith. And, of course, they can't have any faith anymore. And they, they did have hopes on that once in a while. But actually, religion doesn't lead anybody any place in the final analysis because you never get your wish anyway. So, of course, one can't survive on the basis of spirits and, and religion and so forth. So that leaves just, of course, God. And, of course, God naturally exists because there is all this space around here, and this space is obviously surviving. So, of course, uh, it, it's obviously surviving. Of course, space itself is liable to collapse, but the prime mover unmoved is not liable to collapse because he created all this, and maybe he can't either, and nobody yet has come up with his flat or can't survive as God will never again be able to create another messed universe. But if we mentioned it, brother, it would be out in the streets. Uh, he could simply say, I have action. A uh, magician, uh, the magic cults of the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th centuries in the Middle East were fascinating. The only modern work that has anything to do with them is trifle wild in spots, but it's fascinating work in itself. And that's work written by Alastair Crowley, the late Alastair Crowley, my very good friend. And uh, he, he did himself a splendid uh, piece of aesthetics built around those magic cults. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, reading to get a hold of a copy of a book, quite rare, but it can be obtained, The Master Therion, T-H-E-R-I-O-N. 
The Master Therian by Alastair Crowley. He signs himself the Beast. The Mark of the Beast, 666. <laughs> very, very something around. Finds this enormous stone hanging suspended in the middle of a room. This is an incident called the Emanator, by the way. And this thing is, by the way, the source of the Muhammadan lodestone that they have hanging down there that uh, when uh, Muhammad decided to be a good uh, small town booster in uh, Kansas, Middle East, or something of sort. By the way, the only reason he mocked that thing up is the trade wasn't good in his hometown. That's right. You read the life of Muhammad. And he's got a black one, and it's sort of hung between the ceiling and the floor, and I don't know it. Maybe it's called a cast bar or, or, or something. Any, anyway, that thing is a mock-up of the emanator. The emanator is bright, not black. And so your volunteer, who was just on a sightseeing trip, goes in, and this thing is standing in the middle of a room, and it's going wong, 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 wong. And he says, isn't that pretty? It sure is. And then he says, nah, punk. Well, I tell you, they cart him from there. <laughs> and they take him in, and they do a transposition of being.